What is our atmosphere made of? First of all, let us see what is atmosphere. Atmosphere is a layer of gases which surrounds our planet Earth. It is like a gaseous cover which extends to several hundreds of miles around our planet. It is a unique reservoir of gases, water vapor and dust particles, which are very important for life on Earth. It acts like an insulator, which maintains the suitable temperatures for life on Earth. It doesn't allow the harmful radiations and particles from space to enter our planet. Otherwise, our planet will be destroyed by these outer elements. Secondly, it maintains temperature of Earth by absorbing Earth's radiation. But what is there is Earth's atmosphere, which makes it unique? If we compare Earth's atmosphere with other planets' atmosphere, there are many differences which make our atmosphere unique. All the other planets do not have the main ingredient which makes life on Earth possible, and that is oxygen. All the living organisms require oxygen to live. But this gas is not available on other planets. This makes our Earth unique and precious. The other planets are either extremely hot or cold. However, the temperature of Earth is maintained by its atmosphere. Our atmosphere is also unique as it is filled with lively sounds of birds, animals, nature and people. As there is no life, the other planets are very quiet. Our atmosphere protects us from the sun's harmful radiations, meteors and other particles coming from space. When these particles try to enter the atmosphere, their path is diverted due to friction of gases and particles in the atmosphere. Our atmosphere is a product of 4.6 billion years of development. The young earth was very hot and had gases like carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane in abundance. But as earth cooled, and life emerged on earth, these gases decreased and nitrogen, oxygen and other gases became abundant. Now let us see, what is the extent of our atmosphere. Our atmosphere extends up to about 480 kilometers, after which is the exosphere. Exosphere or outer sphere is a less dense atmosphere with lighter gases like hydrogen and helium atoms. This shows that our atmosphere is not the same throughout. It has a different chemical composition near the surface than in the outer atmosphere. From Earth's surface to a distance of 80 kilometers, the proportion of gases is nearly uniform throughout. This region from the Earth's surface to 80 kilometers is known as the homosphere. Homo implies gases are evenly mixed. Here, there is an exception in the ozone layer in the stratosphere. Near the surface there are some variations in water vapor, pollutants, and some trace chemicals from location to location. From 80 to 480 kilometers from Earth's surface is heterosphere. Here gases are not evenly mixed. But they occur in distinct layers according to their atomic weight. For example, lightest gases like hydrogen and helium are at the margins of outer space, whereas heavier ones like oxygen and nitrogen dominate in the lower region. The heterosphere is quite sparse and has less than 0.001% of the atmosphere's mass. Due to the sparseness of gases, the region is quite calm, so most of the space shuttle missions orbit here. What is our atmosphere made of and which gases are there in our atmosphere? The atmosphere is the mixture of many gases and water vapor, particulates, and aerosols, some gases in the atmosphere are permanent and they have a fixed proportion throughout. These are stable or permanent gases. The two most important stable gases are nitrogen and oxygen. The most abundant gas in the atmosphere, with a percentage of 78.1% is nitrogen. It occurs mostly in lower atmosphere. From Earth's surface to up to 50 km it occurs in molecular form, and after that for the next 100 km in atomic form. It is very important gas as it is the main element in organic elements, especially proteins, and so is essential for living processes. The next gas with the composition of 20.9% is oxygen. It is the second most important gas. Oxygen is found in the atmosphere from Earth's surface to 120 km, where, in the lower 30 km, it is in molecular state and after that in atomic state. It is an essential gas for life on Earth as it is used by animals, plants, bacteria, for various life processes. It is also important for other processes like burning of fire, decomposition of organisms and rusting of metals. However, excessive burning of fuels, deforestation, 
are hazardous for oxygen balance on Earth. The other stable gases in our atmosphere are argon, neon, helium, xenon. These gases are also known as noble or inert gases. They don't react with other elements in the atmosphere and are colorless, odorless, tasteless, non-flammable gases. They occur in very small amounts and exist as single atoms in the atmosphere. However, all the gases in the atmosphere are not stable. Some gases are variable. It means that their composition varies from place to place. Their composition in the atmosphere changes with time and place. Water vapor is one such gas. Its composition in the atmosphere changes with time and place. The maximum amount of water vapor is found in hot wet regions and its least amount is found in the dry regions. Similarly, its amount goes on decreasing from equator to poles. Carbon dioxide is another variable gas. Its percentage in the atmosphere is about 0.033, out of which 96.775% is naturally occurring and the remaining is man-made CO2. It is a greenhouse gas and absorbs heat in the atmosphere and maintains the temperature of our planet. It is needed for growth of vegetation and production of carbohydrates. Ozone is another important variable gas. It occurs naturally in very small amounts in the atmosphere, but it is mainly concentrated in the stratosphere in the upper atmosphere from 20 to 50 kilometers. Oxygen in the atmosphere is broken down by the UV rays and three atoms combine to form the ozone gas. It is interesting that the ozone gas produced by UV rays protects the living beings by absorbing the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Dust particles are aerosols are also important variable elements in the atmosphere. They occur mainly in the lower layers of the atmosphere. As these particles are in the form of sand, smoke and oceanic salt, particles from volcanic eruption or smoke particles from human activities. These particulate matter are very small, microscopic and invisible to naked eyes. These particles act as hygroscopic or condensation nuclei and help in the condensation of water vapor. This process is responsible for formation of clouds and precipitation. Other variable gases in the atmosphere are methane and nitrous oxide. All these gases and particulate matter are vital in making life on Earth possible.